You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Wow. And I thought and I thought the friend that my mom had was stupid. The one that didn't know where milk and eggs came from. <laughs> well, hey, when she lived in a farming community. Well, this was the friend that I tricked. There was a white crayon in the back of my car and I was staying in the church parking lot with her, talking to her and stuff. I started uh-huh. to do a little trick on her and it was really cold. You could see your breath. And I knew there was crayons in the back, so I pulled out the white crayon and put it between my fingers and blew out cold, uh, blew out warm air, and it looked like, you know, there was really warm air coming out of you. And she and she gave me a lecture. She's just like, "How dare you? Don't you know what that does to your body? And you're doing a church parking lot of all places." And I'm like, "My friend, I didn't." It's a crayon. It is a crayon. Did you see me strike anything? Did I light this on fire? Does it smell? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I, I never, like, so I didn't prank my friend, but I, rem- I remember that we used to pretend that we were smoking cigarettes when we were at school oh, at, during winter, but, mm-hmm. like, we knew, like, pretty much we would get a stick and then just, like, like go, like, <laughs> kind of thing, but we knew that we weren't really smoking and such. But yeah, but I never pranked her. But oh man, that that Hello, that's sailor. embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> uh, know, I would like, like to get library. a book here. I knew you would. But yeah, well, I like I said, you? my mom's friend. I told you already, but <laughs> she grew up in a farming community, and it was until like graduation that she learned where like milk and eggs came from. Like oh my gosh, my mom was so shocked. <laughs> 101 fish jokes. 101 fish jokes. 101 fish jokes? Really? My ancestors yes. have worked for centuries to gather these treasures of knowledge and preserve them within these walls so that our race will long be respected for our intellectual achievements. And you want fish jokes? Yes. Yep. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Here, this ought to enrich your understanding of Vicalian literature. Great. Hope it doesn't keep me in stitches, or I might need a sturgeon. Uh, I hate you. Uh, <laughs> but man, one hundred and one fish jokes. Hey, there's a coupon in here. I wonder if it's still good. Ooh. Why? Why the fish need an aspirin? I don't know. He had. He ha- a- oh. He had a hat. No. <laughs> Why didn't the fish cross the road? <laughs> Ooh, good to one. prove that he was no chicken. <laughs> knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> a fish with a five second memory. I don't get it. A fish with a five second secre- secre- second memory who? <laughs> Where am I? Oh my gosh. What did the sign on the empty nu- nuclear <laughs> reactor say? Gone fishing! <laughs> did you ever see the movie Gone Fishing? No, I have not. It's a family favorite. It's stupid, Aww. but but we love it. <laughs> What's a fish with no eye? I don't get it. Fish. <laughs> uh, that one's bad. <laughs> That is bad. Okay, one more then I'm done. Yes. How do fish get so smart? They live their whole Ooh, life in a s- in their whole life in schools. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Oh, when I see stuff like that, I always think of my brother because when I was a kid, my brother was obsessed with joke books. No. And, and keep in mind, not all of them were good. <laughs> His favorite ones was uh, "Tell Me go, Dumb Blonde Jokes." I've got a coupon here for something called Gusanos de Destino. Wow, that's an old coupon. I'm not even sure I still carry this stuff. Wait here, I need to check in the back. Found 
some. It was all the way in the back behind the monkey fingers. It's even still glowing. Yeah. How gross. Monkey fingers? Poor. Wait! No! Is that what happened to the monkeys that L Elaine brought? No! Timmy! Oh my gosh, no! They lost the fingers! Oh, clearly, like, obviously, like, what has fingers ever done for us? Absolutely nothing. Seriously, if I lost my fingers, I would fall. <laughs> I need those. How else can I me poke too. people? Me too. Well, for me, how am I supposed to draw and scratch Look, would you nose? just give me the artifact so we can bury it and get out of here? Nope. Well, McGillicutty gave it to me. <coughs> I get to be the one who picks where to hide it. Sorry, I got it now. Will you at least look at me so we can work this out? <coughs> nope. I bet that's the seahorse artifact the Merleader was talking about. I wonder if they'll just let me have it. Come on, let me have it. Nope. <laughs> Would you like to buy these fine leather jackets? Yeah, exactly. That always works. Look, a three-headed monkey. Look, a three-headed monkey. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? None of your business. Now why don't you back away? You're sticking up the place. I'm not the one with green skin. Oh yeah? Well, you don't smell so... Okay, this is awkward, but you guys smell amazing. <laughs> yes, it's the savory smell of thinly sliced potatoes. Fried crisp and golden with oh, a touch of honey and a dash of that salt. That sounds amazing. <laughs> How I it long does. to be back in the kitchen peeling my potatoes. Yeah, I long for that too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you guys arguing about? What are you guys arguing about? Oh, Captain McGillicutty ordered us to hide the summoning artifact we found far away from the Jerkbait Islands <coughs> until he was able to secure the rest of them. Only he won't give me the artifact back. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, shut your trap. I'm working here. Look, I'm sorry, Merkel, but McGillicuddy clearly gave the idol to me. It's my duty, so I want to make sure this gets done right. I want to be the one who decides where to bury it. Sorry, Killick, but if it meant that much to you, you shouldn't have left it sitting out in the open while you took a nap. And by out in the open, you mean placed in a small box, wrapped in wool and stuffed down my pants? What? Well, if you didn't want pirates rummaging through your trousers while you were sleeping, you should have said so. <laughs> I've got it now. I'll decide where to bury it. Good. Great. Uh-huh. Uh... Where, can I have the seahorse? Can I have that seahorse? You mean this seahorse that Captain McGillicutty gave us to hide until all the artifacts are found? Of course! In fact, why don't we just give you the treasure and then rip off our own arms so our captain don't have to? Beat it! I mean, you could have just said no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe there's a fair uh, way to sell your argument. Yes. Maybe there's a fair way to determine who gets to bury the artifact. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you suggest? Uh? <laughs> oh, that's so tempting. Should we do it? Yes. Look behind you! It's a Dark Ninja Dave action figure! Really? Well, I've never actually seen one in person. Oh my gosh. It hey, worked! What are you doing? Trying to loot our treasure chest? Uh, maybe one of course one. not. It's hard to loot a chest full of nothing. You just keep your hands off my chest. <laughs> not a problem. In fact, um... I can guarantee I won't be touching a single part of your body. <laughs> There's nothing there! Wow! Sorry, it was probably just a weather balloon. 